everyone. I thought I would do a quick um, unboxing or a haul video of what I got from my little scrapbook store. Um, and it's mainly the Simple Stories Say Cheese Collection. So let's see what I got. First of all, every time you get something from Michelle, she gives you coordinating ribbon. So I got all this coordinating ribbon. I'm super excited. Um, the one thing I got that's not the Say Cheese Collection is uh, this is the Vicki Booten Stamp and Die Set. Uh, and it's three stamps with this die. And I will be using this a lot. Um, I'm super excited about it. And hopefully you'll see it in one of my upcoming videos. Then let's get into the heart of the matter. So first things first, I got the stamp set, Say Cheese Magic. Super cool. I love the, this is obviously a DCA uh, Disney's California Adventure, but I've got the two Mickeys. I got a banner that you could tap, uh, stamp whatever you want in, and then Magic Memories. I did get the uh, coordinating enamel dots. I just got one of those um, just in case. Then we'll start with the So Wild kit. So to, I did get an extra set of the foam stickers for So Wild, mainly because I we tend to go to Animal Kingdom a lot. It's our favorite um, of the parks. So this is a second. Um, foam kit of that, but I got the Happy Scrappy bag. So in the Happy Scrappy bag, you get the foam stickers, which you already saw, the bits and pieces. Look at an elephant and a hip bone and a rhino. And oh, I'm so excited. And look, Russell. Um, you get those. <laughs> A little excited. And then the paper collection, which also comes with the um, sticker sheet. So here's the sticker sheet. An elephant again. It's so excited. And then in addition to that, I got a few extra pieces of paper. So I will show you the extra paper I got for this collection because I need to divide it out anyway. Um, for me, I got two each of, for this collection, I got two each of the flags. Um, this is kind of in the Asia section of the park. Uh, they have the flags hanging up, and I just love how those look. And then it has this really cool background paper, so I got two of those. And then because we do do the safari so often, I got two additional safari pages. I figure I could do a, a two-pager. Or if I wanted to, I could cut these up, use my French stickers, and have um, some really cool banners from those. So that is what I got for the Say Cheese Wild collection. So I'll put that aside. The next is the Say Cheese, I don't know which one this is now, Say Cheese Epic Collection. So this is really for um, Epcot. So you see it really focuses on the countries up here, and that's really cool, and then food. So you have food and wine. You do have the Mission Outer Space and the Skyliner, so I've got some pictures of those. You have tacos, you have fish and chips, you have the pancakes with the maple syrup, the wine, and, and then you have just a regular hot dog. And then we did go to Flower and Garden, so they have some topiaries, which is super cool. Um, test track. Oh, it's just so cool. The paper here, though, is just each of the countries. Um, and so I'm going to have some pictures of, of many of these, and it's going to be super exciting. I'm, I'm super excited to um, do that. Uh, for the bits and pieces, this Happy Scrap came with this. And a set of foam stickers. Oh my gosh, the beer. I haven't looked at these yet. So that's kind of cool. So one side is kind of countries around the world. That is adorable. And then one side is kind of the rest of the park. So obviously, everybody recognizes the Epcot Geodesic Dome, Flower Garden, the Monorail, Sky Rider, Skyliner. Super excited. Then I have the um, bits and pieces pack, which is kind of. Um, it's, it lets you make a page. This has a big title, the dome, a couple of cute little things. And then the brads. Perfect. I did not get an extra piece for those. Somewhere that they're not going to fall off. Okay. So the next is the Hollywood Studios pack, which is called Say Cheese Tencel Town. Oh, 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 and I also got the Epcot washi tape. 
which has the gray hearts. And these are super cool. And the countries. The real reason I wanted it is for those countries. I think that's cool. Oh, uh, so Say Cheese Tinseltown has bits and pieces that have lots of movie information. So this is Toy Story, Tower of Terror, those kinds of things. Really fun. Star movies. And obviously they don't have the um, trademark stuff, but like Rock and Roller Coaster, Rock and Coaster, Hollywood Boulevard, things that they can do, they've done. So like, you know, it says studios, you could put Hollywood and on top of that and do studios. So you, you can make that work. And then this paper pack, which is super fun. The next one is, I've got so many of these pieces of plastic. The one that I'm sort of super stoked about it is Say Cheese Galaxy. This is obviously for Galaxy's Edge and for Star Wars. So they have Death Stars. They have, um, I almost said laser swords. Uh, okay. You know what I'm talking about. It'll come to me. It's going to come to me in the middle of this. Stars. They have the TIE Fighters. They have all, uh, it's not TIE Fighters. There are TIE Fighters. It'll come to me. Give me a second. Um, any of the other titles here. And then you have the tags of oh, Tatooine, the little helmets, <gasps> Stormtrooper, Mickey and Minnie. Those, so those are TIE Fighters. It's exciting. Um, super exciting stuff. Space Wars. Lightsaber. Lightsaber. Hero, the Force. Oh, look at that R2 is Mickey Mouse. Oh, so cute. All of this is adorable. I got extra of this paper for that. And then this has all of these, which is super cool. And different stickers here. These are just our only hope. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're our only hope. Super cute. Um, if you're a Star Wars fan, even if you're not a Disney fan, you could get this. You could make this work. Um, I know that it is super Mickey Mouse in a couple of places, but not all. And most of this is non-Disney. So you can make that work. And then finally, um, the last part, the last park standing is the Magic Kingdom. And this is the big one. Um, this is Say Cheese Magic. So in here, this Happy Scrappy Bag has the home stickers. Super exciting. Whole gang, best ride ever. Uh, the papers for this, I got these additional papers. So the ones that have many and the one that have Mickey. Um, so you could do those together or separately and on the back it's hearts and then it says magic. Super fun. The other papers are kind of in the classic colors. This also has the, um, page pieces and it has journaling bits, which is super exciting. And then you have ephemera bits, which are all the exciting things. Decorative brads, big, large ephemera bits. The large, big bits is what they're called. Look at that top five. The balloons. Now, this is cool because I could cut it off versus the stamp and just have the castle. I love the red polka dot camera. And one of my new favorite things of these are these frames. The frames have been really, really um, useful. So I've been using them a lot more lately. So that is my, oh, and finally, the washi tape. So that is my haul. Um, if you stay tuned, the second half of this video, I'm going to show you the June challenge, which is celebrate a birthday. Um, and I am going to use this paper to scrapbook the 25th anniversary or birthday, if you might, of the Phantom Menace. That's episode one of the Star Wars series. So I'll be right back in just a second. It's gonna flip over and we're gonna make a page about that. Thanks, and if you're not interested in the page, but you just wanna get these products, I put a link to my little scrapbook store below. Thanks everybody. Okay, welcome back. 
So I am going to be putting together a page for the birthday celebration um, challenge, which is the June challenge over at My Little Scrapbook Store. For those of you that don't know, we have a monthly challenge that's picked by one of our design team members. This month is Sherry's birthday month, so she picked birthday or celebration as the theme for the challenge for this month. And basically you have to do a layout or a card or any paper project that has a celebration of an anniversary, a birthday, um, anything that you can think of to celebrate. You enter it by putting it in the comments of the challenge, and I think I had the challenge graphic earlier in this video. Um, you do that on our Facebook page. You can find a link to that below. Um, and it's a super fun way to get a, a $10 credit to My Little Scrapbook Store. They have 99% of the products that I use. All of the things you're seeing today, uh, I got at the My Little Scrapbook Store. So you just saw my haul video where I had all of the Simple sto Stories Say Cheese collection. This is the newest Say Cheese collection. They did have a Say Cheese collection um, last year or maybe even the year before, I'm not sure, that was focused on the lands of Magic Kingdom or the lands of Disneyland. So they had Frontier and Adventure and, and uh, Tomorrowland um, and then the Main Street USA kind of area. This time it is focused on the parks, the Disney parks uh, at, at Walt Disney World. So I'm using a collection, a set of two of those. I'm using the Tinseltown, which is like the Hollywood Studios one, and the Galaxy's Edge, which is a part of Hollywood Studios, but because Star Wars is such a big kind of part of the lexicon, um, they've made it separately. So I didn't make you sit there and watch me put Phantom Menace down. But basically, these are two papers, one from Gal the Galaxy Collection, which is the all of the, the lights that happen when you go to warp speed, which is exciting. And then the red is the movie theme from the Tinseltown. Now, I knew I really wanted something on the top of this, and I really, really wanted silver. And I don't have any ribbon that's silver enough. I had white ribbon. Um, and I couldn't find anything that I really liked. So instead, what I ended up doing is I went to my stash and this Nouveau Gilding Flakes, I will check my little scrapbook store to see if she has any left. They had gold, copper, and silver. And what these do is if you have a sticky background, and I'm using um, double-sided tape here, um, a sticky background you can put those on and you kind of rub it and then it makes it's like gilding flakes it's like um, when you use the gold flake on food or anything and it makes it have this um, in this my case silver or metallic kind of sheen it is the exact perfect thing I needed because I needed something that looked like a ribbon so that by putting it on the double-sided tape I get the you know kind of consistency of a ribbon but I wanted it to have the shine the metallic shine so that was perfect for me. Now this stuff goes everywhere. It is kind of a menace. So I used a baby wipe to clean it off. I ended up um, having to kind of shake the page out. But I just wanted to show you that it does clean up with just a baby wipe. Um, it's better if you have one of those Swiffer um, like towels because the Swiffer will kind of static collect it. I will be finding silver gilding flakes on my desk for probably the next month. But I'm okay with that. So now we have kind of the base of the page. We have the two papers that I absolutely love. We have the pictures. We have the silver um, kind of ribbons. And we're going to put the core pieces down, which are that 25th uh, on the uh, movies that I got from the big paper pieces from the Tinseltown collection. Then the kind of movie, uh, what is that, the I don't know, the lighted banner that I got from the Tinseltown collection with Phantom Menace on it. Um, I did move down those stickers because it was super bothering me that they weren't even. Um, anyway, so now they say Phantom Menace and up there it says 25th. That is the core of the page. And most of this is Tinseltown right now. It's the Say Cheese Tinseltown. Uh, both the page pieces and um, the red paper. So the only thing really from Galaxy right now is the background paper. Uh, I'm going to put 
I will put the two pieces from kind of the sides. Uh, I cut that from the back of that red piece. It's the film strips. I really like how that worked out. Um, I am watching this and I'm getting a lot of uh, kind of bouncing on my film. I'm hoping the recording's not showing that for y'all. Um, but I really like just kind of having the movie stuff. The fact that this was a movie anniversary really worked for both using the Galaxy's Edge paper and for using the Hollywood Studios paper because I could use both of them at the same time. Um, I had a really big idea to do this. I really wanted to do this for the June challenge. As soon as I saw the paper and I knew I had these photos, it was 100% something that I wanted to do. And then I had to move my challenge because of Father's Day, so I didn't have the collection yet. So that's why you're getting a video. Um, you've already seen, uh, if you are a member of the scrapbook, my little scrapbook store page, I did a live challenge uh, celebrating um, with a different uh, page that you can go watch over on their Facebook group. But this is for the challenge, the one that I really wanted to do using this paper. So now I'm going to do this. I wanted to have that now showing. I don't think I have anything else. And the way they do these foam stickers is really cool because they kind of divide it up and decide. So I think I showed you earlier, like the Epcot one is one side is World Showcase, one side is everything else. That one is one side is movies, the other side is Toy Story. So we're going to take just that one, which and then I think they have a Stars. Um, and then I'm going to find from the Galaxies. Now I'm going to get into the Galaxy stuff. And I am going to pick, uh, I don't even remember, I don't even remember what I did here. I think it's another like yellow star one. And then I'm going to do the lightsabers. I cannot believe laser swords. I, I don't even know what I was thinking earlier. I just couldn't come up with it. Lightsabers. That's what it is. And the star. Now, I thought I needed to put glue on the back of that star, but I didn't because it stuck down and it was not coming off. Um, now we'll go to the foam pieces here. And there is... Uh, far, far away, which I'm going to put right there. And I think there is another sticker on here. I'm going to put some of the stars, maybe. I don't even remember what I do. This is, uh, oh, I think I put huge fans, and that's going to come on in just a second. Uh, there it is, huge fans. Um, that uh, princess uh, or queen Amidala is uh, from the 501st which is a bunch of cosplayers star wars cosplayers and they for may the 4th came out to the disney aquarium and she was in the aquarium completely cosplaying it was amazing um, if you ever have an opportunity to see the 501st um, do something and they they usually do stuff uh, around may the 4th i would take your kids go out it's a bunch of people that just really enjoy um, star wars as a uh, way of life and they cosplay and they dress up and they just it was so much fun to see and the kids just really loved it so this is my uh page for the celebration of the 25th anniversary of uh phantom menace uh, much better movie than i remember uh, if you haven't seen it in a while get it out watch it it's actually really good um, i love how it turned out here's a close-up of the page Thanks for watching, and please catch me on My Little Scrapbook Store uh, over the next month, and you'll see some more pages. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.